Welcome to Dreamkeeper. So if, if you're new here or you've not subscribed, can you just give me a wee subscribe? Helps me out, helps the channel out, helps us grow. And to everybody that has subscribed, thanks a lot. Really means a lot. So this one is uh, going to be a theory. Just a theory. That it's not just that I have. I'm sure quite a few people have it. Something I've seen before and, and that, and it's quite interesting. So basically, this is the theory about the Ark of the Covenant being the key to the Great Pyramid. And what I mean by that is, inside the Great Pyramid, there's a stone sarcophagus in the, I think it's the King's Chamber. So they, they say it's a sarcophagus, but there's never any bones or anything found inside it. I'm saying it, it probably got raided or that, but it's, it's, to me it's interesting that the dimensions of that are pretty similar to the dimensions of the Ark of the Covenant. So the theory goes that because like the Ark of the Covenant is like that, it's meant to be powerful and a power source. The theory goes that if you put that inside there, that's basically the key that will reactivate the Great Pyramid. And it's to me it's really quite interesting when you look into like the like the history of the pyramid, the history of the ark. So pyramid, I'm sure it's like a Greek Greek word. So like like the start of pyramid, like pi, like what would it be like pyra or pyro kind of thing. So if you think of like pyrotech, it means like fire, like pyro, pyre, pyramid. And then mid obviously means in the middle, inside. So basically, pyramid means fire in the middle, fire inside. And then if you think of the Ark of the Covenant, it was supposed to be like like powerful and shoot out electricity and, and all this kind of stuff and destroy cities and all, all sorts of crazy stuff. So it is quite interesting that that would be a similar size. You've got the pyramid, the fire inside, fire in the middle. You've got the Ark of the Covenant, the same size as the sarcophagus that would fit inside. It sparks electricity. People say the Great Pyramid could be like a power source, like an energy focusing device for the Earth's energy. Uh, so to me, again, it, it sounds plausible. There's To me, it's not like far-fetched or that. And, uh, like even if you look at the history, also like the, the the Exodus and stuff, the Jews, like the well, they, they left Egypt, and then it says that they God told them to to like build the Ark of the Covenant to put in the Ten Commandments, like the two different stones, and uh, the manna stuff as well, the manna from God. Uh, there's stuff about the manna as well. Uh, that can go to like India and all that, but I'll leave that for another video. But uh, so it's like God told them to make it. It was powerful. Even like when God appeared to Moses, it was on a mountain, a pyramid, and uh, it was meant to be. It was meant to appear in the, the form of a burning bush, the fire, the fire in the middle, the fire in the pyramid. Could all be linked, kind of thing. So I don't know. Maybe when the the Jews were leaving Egypt, maybe they took the Ark of the Covenant out of the pyramid and took it with them. I don't know, maybe that's that's just speculation on my part, but it's quite interesting how the story intertwines, like the Ark of the Covenant being made after the Jews, ex like the Exodus of Egypt, and then it was powerful and all that. And to me, it, it seems quite interesting, so if, if you put that inside the pyramid, it would restart it. Because I, I just don't believe that the pyramids were built as tombs. Maybe some of them were, but definitely not the older ones. They're just too big, they're too complex. They look like a machine. Like, they, like they just, like, although they're made of stone, it looks like it could be like a machine kind of thing that would, would be some kind of energy device. So to me, it's, it's really quite interesting. And that's what the theory is, the theory the Ark of the Covenant is the, the key that will restart the Great Pyramid. Uh, I suppose the only way of finding out is we need to find the Ark of the Covenant and rebuild the Great Pyramid to how it was and 
try it, so we'll probably never know. But it's definitely, to me, it's an interesting theory. And uh, I just, I'm fascinated with the pyramid and stuff. There's just lots about it, and even the mythology and the history and the religious stuff to it. There's lots and lots you could dive into and go into in that. It's just, it's endless kind of thing. But uh, that's basically that for this one. Uh, so if, if you've enjoyed watching, could you just give me a wee subscribe? Uh, and that would be brilliant. And uh, that's it though. So uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you soon.